let's make this time an Arch Linux i3. So I'm going to show you what I do in, on the back end here. So we have this Arch Linux phase 3. We're going to clone it and this is going to be phase 4 and I'm going to install i3. So full clone, yes. And as long as you have space on your hard disk, everything will be just fine. So we have phase four and we are going to start it. Arch Linux. So this is a virtual box with UEFI. Now there is nothing yet installed, so we don't have i3 installed yet, so we can't log in to it. Light DM works, but logging in to what? So there is no session to start. So the tip was that we use control and an F2. So right control, and then we go and figure out together how, what should I do to install i3. And let's see if we can get an answer here from Arch Wiki i3. So this is your page to get to, and we have to install the i3 package group, includes this one and that one and that one. And we are actually going to install something different. <laughs> okay, why? Because we want to have i3 next gaps. So Arco Linux, whoop, go totally wrong. GitHub.com, Arco Linux with a D, and there is i3 in here. And then you go read and say, okay, what do I need to, if I want to have the same as on Arco Linux D? You need to have i3 status and you need to install i3 caps next. So basically this is going to be more complex. But let's get ahead and let's do this. So one thing we can do already is follow the Arco Linux GitHub, Arco Linux D in GitHub, and say we need i3 status. status that's fine now <clears throat> we are in luck because Yahoot is already installed as you can see Yahoot is installed so we could um, do an i3 gaps oh, no three i3 gaps dash next and see what comes up yes so number one and we could install it that way or we could install it via git clone and then via the scripts edit thing the package build no continue yes yes so we're actually making the well well doing manually what sets in the hundred script the script that is in here that's what we're doing manually I said this okay this has already been done so we did see light dm already but there was no session to start so there was no i3 yet to start so now we're gonna get i3 status this and not forget the light dm but that is already done so that's okay the only thing we're missing is actually i3 gaps so yes yes install it and that's it I guess we could reboot already, um, not much to see, but it's a nice thing to know that what effort we put into Arco Linux and specifically in i3, because if you boot like this, the line is not so nice, the light DM greeter, and then you log in, and then it says i3, first configuration, you have not configured i3 yet. Do you want me to generate a config file in the .config i3 config? What can you do? Yes. No. So enter. Yes. Generate it. Windows as default modifier or alt. What we choose of chosen is win. So enter. And we have something already. We have some lines down here. Um, but basically we're wondering what to do next because control alt t super enter ah, super enter is having a terminal Whew. am i glad not that much because i have still have qwerty here now in order to have qwerty again 
I will have to do the similar approach that I did on open box. I wonder if I still remember. So some of the elements we need to borrow from other um, operating systems, other desktop environments like XFCE, sudo pacman, pacman, I have to really think what to press now, XFCE4, I think it was settings that we need, that's one, so that's that. What else do I need? There was this XF settings daemon that I wanted. Let's see, nothing. I have to look it up again. So let's um, go over what I did in the meantime. So I was looking for the name of the package. I decided to install XFCE4 sessions. That gives us the possibility to have XF settings daemon. And let's see if we can start the settings. Manager. Oh my god. Manager. Whew. Keyboard. Oh yeah. Control F. We decided to have a view. See like 150% bigger than normal so we can go back to the normal look like so and then control F again I will, I will set it right once we log off so layout yes English US nope I want my Belgium stuff in here okay English should be deleted Belgium is there close and Azerti is there as well. So that's what because of the XF settings daemon that we ran. So finally I can type in Azerti stuff. Let's um, find a way to, to close this if we can. Überhaupt, I don't think so. So sudo reboot is gonna be just fine. That means that we're gonna, well, we could have logged off probably as well. But LightDM is getting setting itself ready. And we see here very small fonts here. Too small for my eyes anyway. But it's it's working all right. So Ctrl Alt was not working. Super return. That's the one that's working. We have our QWERTY. There is QWERTY again. So I'm gonna run the settings daemon and then stop it. And there's my ZRT. So the settings daemon, um, things like that are in the configuration of um, our um, configuration of i3. Now, this is painfully simple, painfully um, difficult. So nano, if you want to have a look at what we have, config and i3. This is the standard and it's only a few lines long. I mean, it's very small, so page down, page down, that's it. So our configuration file is a little bit longer. So what we do is we go and I'm going to get it. So git is installed. So in this case, git is here. Otherwise, if it was not there, sudo python minus s, git. Might have done it, did I do it, was it? a part of something I don't know anyway it's installed probably because of the scripts we do not need to reinstall it so that's okay um, we definitely need to git clone our configuration from i3 because this is not so nice at all github.com slash d and arco i3 and did I do a typo? No. LS. So these are these are the scripts again. So zero zero is the one we do first. Then normally we maybe this will help in the fonts already. Probably. Hopefully. 
maybe I should take another terminal as well. Kill this one, super shift Q, ah, that works. And super return gives us that. If I launch termite, we get this. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do, control shift Q, what I'm gonna do, XFCE4. No, it's not yet installed. So sudo pacman minus S, I'm gonna take this one for now because of the fact that I can make the fonts easily bigger with XFCE terminal. We just do it here and it's already quite big actually. So bigger, so everybody can read. So close, Control F is not working. So super F, super F is working fine. So super F, that's okay. What's next? So, CD Arco i3 LS. We did 100. No need to do, uh, sorry, we did 000. Okay, no need to do the 100 because we've done that. We can install sound. And off we go. But let's maybe before we do all these stuff do the essence and what's the essence well we need to get our own configuration the one we're used to so in 600 there is the arco linux arc team but it says target not found because we are on arch linux we have to go to the, the folder arch oops arch way and in here we need to run number 10 to trust the key of eric dubois And then add Arco Linux to the package manager, pacman.conf, sudo pacman minus s, and this is already enough, I think. So Arco Linux is there now. So 600. Well, uh, let's go arrow up. Oh yeah, we are now in the present working directory. We are in Archway, so the only thing we see is this thing. Yogurt is already installed, so 30 and 40 is uh, not relevant in this case, but it's there in case we need it. And we have here number 600, so one level up. And now Arch Linux is found, and the theme, Arc themes are going to be installed, and all the rest as well. We definitely need our i3, for sure. Would be, would be much faster for me to work in, because of all the shortcuts configuration if you think from time to time hey this is too slow <laughs> I just wanted to say then you do ctrl C and you start again because it's going to skip everything the things that are already installed is just being skipped and the wallpapers seems to be well not any longer no issue anymore so we need to reboot log off log out um, super F is making it smaller again but I need to log off and not sure what kind of code it is standard we should put take a look nano well nano is good but um, we should take a look at the dot config in i3 config I'll lose a lot of time with it probably but in here somewhere is what they think is the way to stop and reload here it is mod shift r so super shift and an r and we have already another look this says error status command not found because it wants me to run things that are not there but that's easily fixed sudo oops what am i doing um where am i okay cd in arco linux ls and the things it's missing is because it's um, wants some specific distro stuff so i'm running 500 first i3 blocks is being installed yet is uh, being built 
not really necessary unless you want to have a conkey but remember that normally uh, i3 starts with a conkey just to help you out so super shift reload and there you are we have now xorg kernel memory root mute and all that so the information is available super shift return nothing happens sudo pacman minus s funar should have been launched now super shift return and we have now a file manager a terminal everything to read so now we're set to run all the rest so we are in here and what did we not do we did not run 110 i guess yep we did run it eric it says skipping so that's why the scripts are okay i mean if it's already installed it just skips it as simple as that so the last thing was 120 let's do just everything the printers if ever I wanted to print on this virtual box, which by the way is not possible, but okay. LS 150 LS. We have now 200, 300. Um, we did already 400, did we? No, 400 is also specific for open box. So let's get that in as well prior to anything. We can always take a look 400 if we can open it within application we don't seem to have a text editor yet so that's not gonna happen so um really want to see it right now pseudo pacman minus s mouse pad or something yep that's it very small thing and then open it with and there you go so those are things that for Compton and Tmenu and GM Run and LX Experience, all stuff that are actually for i3, but also needed for XFC to have general desktop feeling. So Super Shift R will probably already have these effects. You see, Compton is now installed. It's here. Then Compton.conf. A file is here. Oh, actually, it's here. Um, it's inside control H it's inside the dot config in i3 this configuration file it makes these colors change so um, okay let's get started with the rest so let's what did we not install 200 was installed then eh? no 200 is being installed right now so that's software all kind of catch fish variety stuff atom events git as well but it just skips it because it was already installed it's gonna skip to an R because to an R is installed manually so that's how it works as always, you decide what elements you want. If you said, I don't want this application, put the hashtag in front of it. If you say, I want to have Steam, copy paste it and type behind here, Steam. And there's another one you need. So check out Arc Linux for that. So that's how the cookie crumbles, like they say, don't save. In the meantime, we can do other stuff that will not conflict with this installation. Let me think. We could uh, get our personal stuff out of the way already. Open a terminal and run number 100. It's going to install a uh, .conf, but it, it requires an application. So on Eric here, Control H, we see just one folder. And that's not nice. Do I really need to make all these? all these um, applications i'm gonna run 300 in the meantime do i need to make all these folders i mean uh, so the what is it again download and documents and video and template and all that stuff no we're not we're going to tell the system to install users dears and we need a gtk version of it 
And well, let's, let's see if it works. It all depends what happens on the other side here. And I see that Discord is going to be installed. Stop, Control C, Control C, Control C. So Discord takes a little bit too long in my, in my opinion for a tutorial like this. This time Atom is installed and it's opening it to Atom. So I'm gonna tell him, forget about Atom. Opened with mouse pads. I'm gonna put an hashtag in front of this court. Saves me seven minutes of installation time. So 300 again and no this um, Discord installed. So in the meantime, to the right here, I installed XTG, user GTK. Remember that we have no folders. Running number 100 again, and there you go. I don't need to make them myself, and it will be also uh, applied in the language that you uh, desire, if you what you set in your system. So that's okay. What else? We need some personal bookmarks, which is going to be etc scale. Remember, special folder for uh, Arco Linux and consequently now also Arch Linux because our bash, our newest bash is in there with our PKSYUA. Does he understand it right now? Come out not found. So we need to copy paste our code from here to our own Eric here to this one. That's for later. That's number 200. Firefox needs to be started, so Control Alt F. Firefox is now started and I'm shutting it down again. And that's because I want to run number 300. And before you can run 300, you need to run Firefox. So there is a folder to copy paste these things to it. Not gonna do ZSH and not gonna do long-term support kernel, but we could. If you, your hardware requires it, you can do that. So we saved some time and we did also already a personal thing here. Um, this is number 300, 400 with it, 500 with it, 600 is done, 700 is done. This is not done, 800. If we run 800, we get an error. And the error is that the group does not exist. So I tell to the system, dear system, please add a group called auto login. And of course you have to be sudo for that. So sudo. Like so, and then you can rerun 800, and Eric is going to be added to the group, and that's it. We can now auto log in later, no need to wait for LightDM and to put in my password there. The microcode fix is not necessary on my system since it's in VirtualBox. If you see an error come up, that's what you do. Fix for the mouse so the, that it's always uh, breeze, snow everywhere you click and 930 is the lock screen so lock screen is applied super l is it or super k or maybe slim lock is not yet installed we have to wait for the rest of the installation so that's um, what you do is this d menu already installed super shift d that's installed. Alex appearance. Oh yeah. So let's get rid of that. Let's get Arc Frolly Dark out. Or I always take that one. Let's take something like this. Polo Dark. Tori Dark. All kind of colors. You decide what color you like today. Hibiscus Dark. Havelock Dark. Evo Pop. Crimson. It's all good for me. Let's take a red one. Icon themes have not been installed yet, so just GNU and high contrast. So neither is um, snow cursor. Still waiting for that to install, but we can install some stuff already. So 
apply. Let's kill the tuner. Let's open it again. Nah, we need to quit tuner. I believe we can do that as well, like so. Tuner quit or something. Okay, done. No, we really need to log off and log on. Was it another command? Anyway, we have to wait. So Spotify is being installed. That's good. Close. Uh, what else can we do? All oh, right, but let's fix this bash RC thing. So you see bash RC is this. This is not way what we have in Arch Linux. Arch Linux has this as content, a lot more. So Control A, Control C, and you Control A this here, delete it. Control V, save. Now the bash RC from your local here, local bash RC is also including this one and mirror as well. There is something that I have to tell you about mirror. So let's use our time wisely. Ooh, NeoFetch is installed. Now I need to source the newly. No, I don't need to source. It's there already. Let's see. Yep, nothing to source. Everything okay. And he's, he knows now what my uh, aliases are. And we've just installed the package that's needed for uh, Yahoot. Then I was going to say mirror will give an error. Why? Because there's an application in there, a reflector, and it's not found. So we did not install it with any of our scripts because on Arch Linux, uh, sorry, on Arco Linux, it's installed out of the box. But here we have to think about those things because we are on a vanilla Arch Linux system and then seizing it with parts from Arco Linux. So I'm updating my mirrors now. And when we do this, it's going to be from another server and faster and even an update coming. How about that? So control shift, super shift Q, by the way, I have my screen key, Eric. It's already there. I think that I saw it. Nope, it's not, not installed yet. So a screen key is an application to show what I'm pressing, but it's only a screen fetch that's installed. Quit. So, Arco i3, we're doing all this. Done that, done that, 710. Not sure if we've done 710 and there's no issue if we run it right now. Those are the fonts for the con keys. They are now in the system. We ran already 700. My memory serves me correctly. One of the things we did first, so skipping, skipping, skipping. Nothing happens. Papyrus icon theme is being installed. Let's just pause the video now because I don't see anything else to do. Like, uh, like that, everything just ends and we have now installed everything. So 300 was the last one. Just checking if we did everything here. 400, we've done that. 500, we've done that. 600, we've done that. We can always rerun it. It all just skips everything. That's fine. We did 707 and 10. So yeah, it's time to reboot. And then it's time to set it all up. But this is just first, let's see if everything works. So auto login, boom, bang, we're there. Tunar is booted and our uh, tuner is present does it work give me the next one baby or alt to the right uh, let's see next in here it does happen um, not sure if it is right now 
happening. No, it's not, so it works. So Alt N. But whenever that um, variety is not working as you it needs to be, then you just quit it, quit it, or kill all variety or something similar. Like I do now, kill all conky. You see the conky down there, and it's now gone. So we have our i3 set up. I do believe we have to figure out again the Azerti setting, but that's done for our next tutorial.